Hi everyone, my name is Madison and welcome to my first ever world overview for this channel. Today we are going to be exploring the Canyon Skies world. This is inspired from an Arizona like from in Arizona town from here in America Arizona state so I am very excited to give this a look I want to play a current household tonight and so I was like well I just downloaded this brand new world I've been merging all of my CC so I wanted to play around with it before I filmed another episode of Lepacy and I decided you know what why not play in my new world because it's really calling to me. So I have, ooh, I don't have Supernatural installed. I forgot to install that because I didn't, I didn't plan on making this world overview. So I just, I just downloaded it and installed it. And yeah, anyway, so it says located in the heart of the majestic Grand Canyon, Canyon Skies is an awe-inspiring scenic town built along towering cliffs, sparkling rivers, and lush vegetation. Get ready to explore the rugged terrain, drive along scenic highways, hike along scenic traits and or trails, I'm sorry, and camp under the starry sky. With its unique blend of nature, natural wonders and modern amenities, Canyon Skies is the perfect destination for sims who crave both adventure and comfort this is a large world um you don't need any stuff packs but you need world adventures late night pets and supernatural so i think i have everything except the supernatural downloaded whoopsies but let's get into this because this world like i said is massive but it's inspired from Arizona, and I have a friend, one of my bestest friends, who lives in Arizona, so I, I'm just excited. So, we have um one starter home here, and then, oh my goodness, look, there's another one over here, Outlaw's Outhouse, oh my goodness, and look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, okay, um, you have this abandoned barn, um couple more empty lots I don't see like many starter homes I think there's only those three but there are so many empty lots if you're a builder you know you can build on these lots I think I see a trailer park over here we might have to look at that uh, but let's just start over here with this abandoned barn so I don't know what house you know i'm gonna choose but it is on this really big lot oh my goodness look at how pretty Alrighty. um so yeah it's literally exactly what it says it is a barn and i mean it's cute it's a barn what did what did you expect but this is actually like really nice you could start off like here you know, maybe rags to riches or something, and you have a barn, and you could, like, build a house on here, and then have your barn for your horse, which is cute, okay, um, and then let's look over here at the Outlaw's Outhouse, which is another fun one, okay, um, oh my goodness, so this is also kind of like a barn style, I'm guessing, because there's like hay in this. And then you have, wow, just such a beautiful bathroom and kitchen setup. I get such, it's so old or such old vibes. And I like it. I like it. Okay. And then over here you have abode, abode. Um, and this looks like it's in like a fancier neighborhood, maybe. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I like this one the best. It's a very cute colors. I love the lime. I'm not, I would never like live in a house with this type of color furniture, but I like the pink and the lime. We're going to choose this one, you guys. So you can get all of them furnished, which is great. I like to decorate, but sometimes you just want to get into the game and you just want to start. So we're going to load in. Okay. Ignoring the challenge because that is literally not what this is about. So game will have to take a second to load. No, we're not going to delete any homeless sims. Okay. But like, look at this world. Oops. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, why is my game doing that? Hello? There we go. Look at this. This is stunning, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I truly just this is beautiful 
y'all knew I was gonna have to get some pictures of this world, make them my desktop. I mean, ugh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and look, you have a little beach over here. Um, a spring lodge. Ooh, what is over here? It's literally what it sounds like. But look, there's so many Sims. Okay, so over here you have Sabrina Medina. Okay, hi, ma'am. Well, who's over, who else is over here? Um, Alice Yazi, Bella Chavez, and Matt Schofield. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Diego de Castillo. Let me have a little look see over here at this man. Okay, not bad. Looking not bad. Uh, Cusco, his son, I'm guessing. Ooh, okay. Nicholas and Hector. Ooh. Oh, I can't. Hector, I can't get to you. Hector? Okay. Um, it's fine. All right. Cute. Okay, and what's this lot actually look like? Oh, so it's kind of like supposed to be like a resort or something, except there isn't any resort features here. And of course you have the little bathroom. It's kind of hard to get to this a lot just because it's sunk into these mountains, but so pretty. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. Okay, I wanna look over here at, yeah, I wonder why we couldn't choose these for starter homes. Like how expensive are they? But you have, let's see, you have the Christie household, the, okay, another Christie. Oh, all of these must be the Christies. Let's open and kind of have a little look-see at these trailers. Oh, okay, only one of them works, but this is a cute little place, I won't lie. And look at, I love how many Sims are just around the world. Oh my goodness. You guys, that is so awesome. All right, so Christy, you know, cute, cute. You have the Bates over here. Um, and then this is one that's empty. I'm assuming you would be able to live in this one. I don't know why you couldn't move into this one as a starter home. Um, but aside from this awful wallpaper, um, this one's not bad. But it's cute. I mean, I can feel, I can feel Wisteria just, Ashley from Wisteria just screaming about this place. <laughs> it's cute and it's right by the diner, which is also fantastic. Um, let's see, let's see, what else can we look at? I saw this house, but I think I want to take a look at, ooh, this one. This is a farm. I love it. Look, they have like the little carport too, which is so cute. I don't really know how it's levitating. I bet I'm missing something so they didn't install Supernatural, but happy and nookie, Nez. All right, let's look in their house. Master controller. Let's uh, open if I can find it. A cute little barn in the back, a beautiful like lake, an apple orchard. Oh my goodness. All right, and the house itself, oh, I like this, you guys. I like closed off floor plans, and I know it's weird, but like the tile flooring, since I love Florida, and like I would love to live in Florida, tile flooring is just chef's kiss, you guys. I love it so much, but this is so cute. The living room, I love the kitchen that's closed off. And then you have like an office and a bedroom down here. Um, I guess, I wonder if this is like popular in Arizona? I don't really know, but yeah, you have this here, okay. And then upstairs, ooh, so bright. They are, they look like the same room repeated, but I mean, I love the downstairs, so it's okay. And I like to decorate, so it does not really bother me that, you know, it's all the same. Um, okay, what's this? This is Big's beautiful boot park. I think it's boot. Oh, look at this cute little park. Ooh, and more Sims. Oh my goodness, so many Sims. They look a little bit like Butterface. Oh, well, Dan Smith, he looks different, you know, but otherwise they kind of all look the same like just butterface but that's fine it's populated it's okay um this is a cute park i mean i don't really know what i expected over here is the mesa museum which i just like that it's 
different like it's not the same as it is in every single world and of course you have more sims Brittany looking different she doesn't look butterface okay they don't all look butterface but ooh, she's actually really pretty oh my goodness Anita Begay I like her Tatiana Alex who's five star four star celebrity all righty so pretty cute you have this poolside club. Ooh, and look, you actually have houses over here too. So we'll definitely look at them. So this is a poolside club. It looks like it may be like celebrity. But you go down. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Just imagine. Oh my goodness. Imagine. I don't understand why. It won't enter me into tab mode. Okay, but like, imagine just sitting here in the pool and looking at this. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. I really, really like this. And it, oh look, nectar, oh my goodness. And it's got grape, mint grape, oh my goodness. Mint Greek honey nectar. Why was that so hard for me to say? Seriously. <laughs> But this is so cute. I really, really like this lot. Because it doesn't look like every other single lot. And I like how this house is hidden. I don't know how you would get your car up here. Like, how are you getting this expensive car up here when there's, like, no path? I have, like what are you doing just psh, driving off like i don't understand but it's fine let's have a look at his well the yazzy house um ooh, oh my goodness it goes down oh, i love this i love this so much everything is so like pink and like neutral colors i really like that too i love that it's all pink i just Oh, I love the galley kitchen, too. I like, like, I don't think I'd ever want a galley kitchen. I would definitely want, like, from the first house we looked at, to have a more closed off but open kitchen at the same time. But galley kitchens in The Sims, cute. Yours today, like, I like them. I like them. Um, and then I just, I love that this is, like, a pink, I love the rug. I love the bar. I love it love this and then you go downstairs and again you still have pink but it's so cute you have this cute little tv nook and i, I like the pool again freaking look at this oh my goodness y'all this is stunning this is so pretty oh my goodness i don't even understand how something could be so beautiful Oh, I wish I could build a world like this. And then it's three, four bedrooms. Very spacious. I really like this. That's really cute. Okay. Um, the artist. Ooh, this is actually empty. Reality stars? Household? Oh my goodness. Okay, but this one's empty. Let's have a little look at it. It is probably gonna be pink on the inside. Just to give y'all a warning. It's probably pink. But okay so it's kind of closed off there so your sims oh it's right it's a condo yeah so it takes kind of like that condo aesthetic which i actually don't mind i like how it makes it look like there's like a condo here and one here and one here and then you have like two here or something <gasps> a cute little gym you could come work out on and then this, of course, is your condo. So you go in here, you have one bedroom. It's two bedrooms, which is nice. And cute bathroom, which the shower is separate from everything else. But, like, that's fine. If you're going to take a shower, like, you don't need a toilet in your bathroom. You can just pee and shower in the same place. Like, it's fine. Um, but I love how every single town has, a, every single house has a bar. Oh, my goodness. I freaking love this world. I love this world so much. Oh my goodness. And of course, like, I just, oh my goodness, I love these houses. Like, imagine these houses, placing them, like, in Lucky Palms or something. You'd have to find, like, a good house to place there because 
<laughs> they're all in these lots and whatever, but otherwise, otherwise, like, you can find one that's, like, on a flat piece of land, and it would be golden. Um, I think, let's see, is that everything? Oh, we didn't look over here. This world is so massive. I love this. I actually really want to live in the condo because it's just so pretty and so freaking awesome. Okay, let's pop down here. There is a base camp, so you can actually take your, is this the base camp? This is a saloon, but that is a base camp. I guess maybe in the olden days it was called saloons. I don't really know. But this is the Sissy Saloon. Perfect. Love the name. Love it. Um, and if you come down here. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. There's so many Sims. Oh, my goodness. But I see, you know, beds. So, like, another hotel. But it's a base camp. So, you can actually have your Sims come here on day freaking vacation which is so cool if you have the traveler mod and then you have your bathrooms ah i love this oh my goodness and the bar dude this is so awesome i love this i love the theming too one of my favorite sims 3 world is wild west revisited or revised it's one of those R words. And it is like an old Western world. And this feels so, so similar to that world. I don't know why I love that world so much, but I love it so, so, so much. I just love the theming of it. And this gives me such Wild West vibes. I love it so much. If this is what Arizona looks like, maybe I'm interested in moving there. Just kidding. I don't want scorpions and I don't want 125 degree weather. Yeah, Florida's hot, but it ain't that hot. Um, okay, so then you have this Candy's Cabaret and you have Busy Bod Boutique Gym. Ooh, the library. We have to look at the library. It looks so small and perfect. Oh my goodness. Y'all, my Sims were not made for this vibe. Like, I did not expect this vibe. Okay. Let's look at the library. I work at a library, so let's take a little peek. See? Oh, it's so cute and quaint. Oh my goodness. Another Sim. Uh, Nicholas Graham, were you not just at the other location? We were. I swear we just saw him at the other location, but yeah, this is so cute. There isn't a kid's room, which I'm saddened by, but it's okay. I just like when the libraries have places for your kids. Um, ooh, who is this? Because she looks cute. This is Stella Smits. Okay, cutie, cutie. Um, I think these are houses. So you have the graveyard, which is an abandoned church. You have a natural community pool. Um, and then I think you just have a bunch of houses. So let's, oh my goodness, more horses. Ah, this is the Grant, or the Grantham, not Graham. Y'all probably screaming at me right now. But let's look at this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this one's blue. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is such a fantastic world. I'm so happy I downloaded this, like, on a whim. This is so cute. Again, you have, like, the tile, and then you have some different, like, you have tile, like, when you walk in, because, like, it's hot, and, like, s like sweat, and, like, horses, so, like, hard work and stuff like that. And then you have the cute blue aesthetic. Oh my goodness. This is so cute, and all of these houses are so big. There's so many rooms in these houses, which is really nice when you, like, want to raise, like, a family. Oh, wait, yeah, that's, this is the graveyard. Let's just take a little peek since it's loaded in. I mean, can't complain. I love to see world adventure stuff. <laughs> it's my favorite. Oh, is this a... Is this like a tomb? No, I'm just getting my hopes up. <laughs> I just jumped the gun. Okay, this is the Schoenfeld. Is there like an empty house up here or would you have to like build one? I'm not a builder, but this one looks interesting. We'll take a quick look, see if it's pink or blue. It's pink and red and blue. Okay, this one has a little bit more diversity when it comes to colors. 
super cute oh my goodness it looks very very girly and here's rebecca schoenfeld who lives here okay well yeah they kind of seem like pretty buttery sims i will say that but like if you don't really mind that then the world is so cute Ooh, trailers is that what this is it's all on the same lot so i think this is the one you live in so okay you don't even you don't get a garage the garage is faux but it's a faux garage but a cute oops oops a cute studio i'm not disappointed this is actually really cool and then again you have this fantastic view oh my goodness this is such a beautiful world i know i've already said that but i'm gonna keep saying it because it's true this world is flipping gorgeous okay so let's see i didn't see any houses that you could buy and move in okay well except that one that's a starter home so if you wanted to live up in this area you'd be kicking somebody out of their house just saying you would be doing that um oh a nectary yes please okay let's uh oh game hello we were having fun my game froze but we're back it's fine I play world adventures I'm used to lag um and freezing but this is the nectary I love I just love how unique it is like it's so different from a lot of like the other stuff like if you download like every single world from my sims Real reality everything is like the same build and stuff like that so I like the different stuff but i do feel like i keep seeing i keep seeing the same sims in different locations so i wonder why that is um uh, i don't know if that's just like my game <gasps> Ooh, amelda looks different she's got red hair i do feel like i keep seeing the same sims everywhere yeah i do i don't know why that is if there's like i don't think there'd be duplicates of the same sims but okay so this even has a kids area so it's like a nectary probably it's like somewhere else you can like come and stay like a hotel or something but like a hostel probably based on these bathrooms up here but then you have oh my like a fancy bar area nectar area over here and then you can make it and they have some pomegranates pomelos you have a lot of different fruits to make your nectar. Ooh, I've never seen these grapes before. Oh my goodness. This is actually like really, it's cute. I'm just, I don't understand why I keep seeing the same Sims everywhere. What the heck, game? And then over here is Establos Estab Pub Publicos. P -p -p Publicos? I don't speak Spanish. I speak american sign language english a little bit of swedish and a little bit of french like i don't speak spanish at all <laughs> or portuguese or anything i mean this is arizona so it's it's spanish but i don't speak anything of the sort and then if you wanted a horse you have this that you could see here she is again what the heck where are these people coming from but if you have a horse and you don't have anywhere to have them live you have this a little bit basic but i mean i guess this job done um and then the final area i want to look at is up here so you have miracato la bruja which is uh market of the witches i'm assuming the witch market i don't know i just know bruja means witch right right that's what it means okay anyway so cute oh my goodness i love this okay so coming down you have i can't really see anything hello hello thank you thank you okay so another nectary very into their nectar and their wine and their alcohol here aren't we there's there's freaking um con like there's bars on every single location like very much so give us the wine um and then over here oh you have an arcade area oh my goodness so it's just multiple like different things to do all in the same location which is very like it's realistic you know what i mean so that's pretty cool i like that there's an arcade there um i don't we have not ran into very many empty houses i will say that 
Uh, this is like another apartment type situation. So in mass master controller, let's open up this and take a little gander. Okay, so your apartment is going to be, you have to come all the way back here, go up these stairs, walk all the way over here. And this is a very small apartment. Um, two bedroom, very small bedrooms as well. Definitely ain't woohooing with anybody in that bed. Um, very small apartment, but not bad. Like, it's cute. Um, you would be able to have, like, a single mom and, like, their child live here or something, which I really like. Um, but I really did not see very many empty houses for y'all sims to live in. So you would definitely be building. You would be doing some building if you were going to live here. Yeah, even this one isn't. Like, I mean, it's populated. That's great. But there's not any houses to live in. Everything's taken. Oh, but look at this cute little ranch house. Oh, my goodness. We need to open this one and take a little gander. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. This is a very, very small, but it does give me very much so ranch vibes. Like, I get so many ranch vibes from this small area right here. And then, you got two bedroom, two bathroom. You got the farm. You got the thing for your horse. Like, this is cute. This is cute. I mean, I do think I'm going to end this world overview here. I think we're going to end it on this view right here because it is super pretty. Yeah, so I hope you guys liked the video. I haven't done a world overview before. I tried to film one way back um, for my other channel, my main channel um, on Willapa Valley, which I love that world, but I don't think it's ever saw a lot of day. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think of this world. Like, I think it's really pretty and I would definitely like to play in it. I'm going to have to change my initial like Sims family, my Sim approach because yeah, these Sims don't really fit the vibe of this world, but I did have a good time. I hope you guys did too. I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. So adios, au revoir, salut, hey du, and goodbye.